Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Kusioris, my nickname is Kus and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate you how to boost the new Chinese Hurricane Rubbers, the Malong version and uh, we're going to be using Haifu Booster, the best of the best, again Chinese Booster. Uh, Boosting uh, nowadays is uh, basically uh, in most of the tacky rubbers uh, comes from the factory. So that's why uh, if you can see all the Neo Hurricane rubbers and uh, all the competitors of DHS, they pre-boost their uh, rubbers and uh, boosting uh, although it is said to be illegal, actually, after uh, some time, disappears, uh, which means that basically you cannot detect it, is undetectable, and uh, also uh, after uh, it disappears, uh, basically uh, there is a great increase in performance of uh, your rubbers. Now, as far as uh, boosting has to do, it definitely increases the performance of the rubbers and uh, this is not an excuse for some people that, uh, okay, he's using boosted rubbers. Everybody nowadays is using boosted rubbers. All the rubbers from a factory are pre-boosted uh, and is legal. Uh, now, if you boost your rubbers and boosting effect hasn't gone out, then this is illegal. But, as far as I am concerned and as far as my research my research regarding the process and the boosting results uh, has concluded that as far as the curving of the rubbers has gone to flat is impossible to get detected and also the only thing that has changed is that the rubber has decreased some degrees and you improved your feeling. So basically uh, this is something that could, it could easily be uh, happening by using different combination of glues and uh, trying different variations regarding uh, layers of glue. So, remember this. Boosting gets your rubbers curvier, but when your rubbers become after two weeks, three weeks, three weeks, even one month, become flat again, then the benefits of the boosting are still inside the rubbers, the rubbers are legal and they are not uh, something to be afraid of using it. And as far as you have measuring machine of DHS, then everything is according to the rules. So, let's proceed. As you can see here, we have a scissor, we have a pen, very important, our wet hangies, our bin, and uh, we have three pairs of DHS Malong version rubbers, the red one for the backhand and the black-blue one. They are all the same. And we have 
the new black high for booster and the new yellow high for booster. The yellow high for booster has been considered by many players as uh, I would say stronger, uh, more powerful. But the differences are neglectable. I mean, uh, only only top top pro can really see the difference. The difference I have noticed myself is that using black high foot booster after you are taking the cover of the rubber out lasts a little bit longer but again is a little bit neglectable so I'm going to be using in one pair the black and in two pairs the yellow booster so let's do some unpacking unpackaging sorry uh, here we have a, our scissor cutting easy this is our black as you can see top original DHS always bear in mind that you have to perhaps original DHS perhaps from tabletennis11.com if you are crazy about table tennis then this is the place okay so we have our rubber here and uh, let's go to check out our red rubber again our red rubber is here before we proceed it is very useful to write above the cover what type of booster we have used for our reference so here for example we have black rifle and the day is Friday and here we have black haifu and the day is Friday and also it is very important to write the time and uh, the date So, don't be afraid of boosting, everybody does it, and even people who are not doing it, they have already been using boosted rubbers. Okay, this has nothing to do with speed glue, speed glue is very bad for health, new type of boosters, they are not a risk for health anymore. So, let's start boosting our rubbers and then we are going to put them far away so we are able to boost our rubbers as well. So, we are going to start with the red one, okay. This is comes from factory, as it comes from factory, okay. And we are going to be using only one layer, 
not more. And basically, for myself, I prefer an actually not very thin, but quite thick layer. So basically, a thick layer, but I try to distribute it as perfect as possible. Okay? That's why you have to do it carefully so you don't get any bubbles. Okay? The boosters have nothing to do with speed glue. Speed glue is something very dangerous and that's why it has been banned and very few companies still producing speed glues. Okay? I think it's okay for the time being. And I love it like this. And you will see in a little while, but it will start doing some uh, a little bit curves. It, it, it will become curvier. Okay? We we'll leave this here. Let's go for the black blue spawns. Okay. Again, similar way. Always remember to go on one direction from the bottom, bottom to the upper side. Don't do it any other way. It is forbidden. Why? Because when you place the rubber on your blade, you always start from the handle to the upper side. So basically, you have to do it this way. Gluing, boosting, everything has to be this way, okay? There are some things that you must not experiment because they are common sense, okay? From the time you are fixing your blade with the rubbers from the handle to the upper side, you have to do it this way. Okay, so now we finished with our first uh, pair of rubbers and now we are going to go to the second pair of rubbers and we are going to be using Haifu yellow booster. Okay, just put this away. And we are preparing these rubbers before we need them. It's very useful always to be prepared. One pair of rubbers is good, but it's not enough, because you never know what can happen. And uh, basically we are preparing three pairs, just in case. Always be prepared for the unexpected. Okay. As I said before, I start with a black blue now, okay? The new generation of boosters were not smelly like the old ones, but they had the fishy smell. Make sure you always store them somewhere, but there is no dust, 
and no obstacles. Okay? It's very important. They need their own space. Rubbers need their privacy. Okay? Do not mix your rubbers with your blades while you are doing this process, okay? This is totally forbidden, okay? You have to wait, respect the procedure and give it time. Basically for me, I give enough time so I see the rubbers become from curvy to flat again. They're expanding a little bit and uh, they drop a little bit in the hardness uh, in the degrees. But the feeling is awesome. Okay? This is the second pair of rubbers. I'm not going to write, I'm going to write only uh, the day, the time, and uh, and the type of the booster. Okay. So the second pair is ready and now we go in our final pair of rubbers, okay, again here our rubbers top original ones These rubbers are uh, very difficult to find. Original ones, okay. Tacky rubbers, the best rubbers. So let's start now with uh, Red one. These rubbers are already pre boosted, okay? Long time ago from the factory, maybe one year ago. And because these rubbers are neo hurricane rubbers, it is forbidden to boost them more than once. Remember it. You boost only once. If you want stronger performance, but allowing less mistakes from you, use thick layer. If you want a little bit less performance, but being able to you sacrifice the performance a little bit, but you gain an advantage, but some mistakes you do, they are not uh, giving the advantage to your opponent, 
okay? then you can use a thin layer of glue. Basically, myself, I prefer using a thick layer because I feel more confident by using a feel thick layer. Sometimes I use no boosting at all. Okay, the performance is still top, but everything seems to be happening a little bit in slow motion. So nowadays, I prefer using one thick layer of booster, nothing else. And always, before I get to the tournament, I measure my blade, my racket, that I am according to the rules. I wish in all the official tournaments worldwide Everybody was using the DHS measuring device. Uh, I think everything would be much more uh, correct and much more legal because uh, a lot of players are using illegal equipment. So this is the process finished boosting, okay, right again the, the time and the date. So, let's have a look now. And uh, here is our first result, not even 10 minutes before, but we did our process. And uh, as you will notice, this pair of rubbers but we used with the black booster already we see an increase in the curve okay you see okay don't worry when you see that there is some booster left uh, on your rubbers it will get absorbed and from the time is only one layer even if you believe that it will go only to one side more and not so much in the other the sponge will do its job and distribute everywhere the booster also this will change in size what has happened in our uh, boosted DHS Hurricane rubbers boosted with HIFO black and uh, yellow one HIFO Simon booster what has happened in our Hurricane DHS rubbers, the best rubbers in the world by far, tacky rubbers, the rubbers that the Chinese national team is using and when we talk about Chinese national team we are talking about the best of the best. So, as you can see, this is what has happened after around six hours by using one thick layer 
of either the black one or either the yellow one. All these are already pre-factory boosted hurricane rubbers. That's why they are so-called neo-hurricane rubbers. Some people, and personally me in the beginning, didn't need to boost it at all, uh, but you would feel a little bit that you are playing like in slow motion. Uh, if you boost them, make sure you always have the machine, the measurement machine, in order to make sure that everything is according to the ITTF rules. We have to obey the rules. Uh, and also make sure that before you even think of start gluing them, these rubbers, this is perfect as you can see, look, have become flat again. Please listen to me, trust me, don't even try gluing these kind of rubbers. They will peel off from the corners. Even if you are using a Revolution number no. 3 press machine, it will do the job, but constantly in the matches you are going to play, you are going to be looking in the corners. Oh, is it... Uh, has it stuck well? So, trust me on it. You boost, you increase your performance, you obey the rules by checking the thickness, as you can see here, we are measuring the thickness. Okay, there is a special thing, special plate, okay, but you are attaching your blades and you can check the measurement. And basically, for me, I don't want to win by cheating and every time I prepare my racket, prepare my blade with new rubbers, I make sure everything is according to rules. So this is what happens through artificial technology in our Neo Hurricane boosted rubbers. Neo Hurricane rubbers must, must be boosted only once. Do not boost them twice because there is the danger of getting them messy. If you like more power, like me, you can use a thick layer of booster, either the black or the yellow, the Haifu Simon booster. And uh, as I said to you before, you will have to wait until these rubbers become flat again. Black one, maybe a little bit, not maybe, uh, actually it gives a little bit more long-term use of the rubber, a little bit less power considered with the yellow one. The yellow, it is said that it has been uh, used by top professional players uh, during the Tokyo Olympics. So, please make sure that before you glue your rubbers, all this have become flat again. Yes, I know, it will need some time. This cannot be done in one day or two days, like a lot of people are saying uh, these things in the web. This is totally a lie. This has to do with the humidity, with the weather conditions, 
uh, with the way you store your rubbers and do not use an air blower, let it be absorbed and artificial technology, the rubber itself will do the job for you. The rubbers are expanding a little bit and they are becoming, uh, they are uh, losing the hardness a little bit. For example, uh, a rubber that is 42 degrees, if you boost it, it can go around to 40 degrees or 39 degrees. And a rubber that is 37 degrees, if you boost it, can go to 2 degrees more. These degrees are in Chinese uh, measurement a system. They are different than the European degrees in rubbers. And uh, as I said to you before in the beginning of uh, our videos and uh, also in our channel, we are interested only about Chinese table tennis and to reveal the secrets of uh, Chinese table tennis. Okay, so now we can store away our perfectly glued rubbers, okay, and wait. Personally, I don't care how long I have to wait because even if you use these rubbers in seven, eight months or one year, they have no problem at all because since there is this plastic cover, as you can see, this means that all the characteristics of DHS, and this happens only in the DHS rubbers that they have this plastic cover, this means that all the artificial technology that has been implemented through the boosting process in this rubber will stay here. The forbidden and the illegal, uh, I would say, uh, components will disappear after it becomes flat again. And uh, the only thing that will be there will be the benefits. The benefits are not detectable. You can feel them in your hand. Power and precision. And you will see your game increase probably by 20%. Okay? And when this becomes flat, it will have expanded a little bit. You glue it, you measure through our DHS machine. This is the machine that has been used in the Tokyo Olympics and measuring uh, all the top pros equipment. If it follows the rules, the ITTF rules, so you can have it in your place and then you are 100% sure that everything is according to the rules. And always, I'm telling you again, wait until they become flat. Also, I will demonstrate you. These are uh, three blades I did six hours ago. And uh, as you can see, after I glued the rubbers, the rubbers were really flat. The DHS one, boosted rubbers, similar with them. I used the Revolution number no. three racket press, a stop. Uh, all these, of course, are purchased from uh, tabletennis11.com. And uh, we're about to check our results through using the Re Revolution number no. three racket press, purchased from the best place tabletennis11.com If you are crazy about table tennis then you have to visit their website uh, Great knowledge 
great prices. And uh, basically the most important thing is top equipment, okay? And uh, as far as uh, DHS con is concerned, we are talking about original DHS equipment. Uh, so, let's see how Revolution number no. 3 Racket Press has helped us with the gluing process. After we finished our gluing process with uh, Neo Hurricane rubbers attached in our W968 National uh, Malong version uh, which basically is this, as you can see this is the blade we are using okay. 968 original one uh, so how this racket press has helped us and uh, we will see also uh, the difference uh, and you will, you will see how flat and how perfect it has become, okay? So, let's have a look. Okay, unscrew, okay. This is it, okay, as you, as you can see. Uh, uh, this is our weapon top look here this is how it looks like and this is how it must look like okay this is after uh, around six hours of using this here revolution free racket press as you can see no lines no bubbles no air inside uh, as I said to you in uh, our previous video regarding the uh, gluing process, it is always better if you are using a, a knife than a scissor because everything is perfectly uh, cut. Okay? As I said to you earlier before, this can be stored away and use it whenever you want. So you have a weapon, you don't have to use it now, okay? you use it whenever you need and uh, whenever you think you can use it okay the total weight measured last night was uh, 192.28 grams and um, I'm a little bit curious to see what is going to be the measurement now if it's similar or, or it has changed or it dropped a little bit after the blade has absorbed uh, humidity from the rubbers, okay? And uh, basically this is 192.21 grams. Our measurement now is 192.21 grams. This means it has dropped 0 0.07 grams. So, after an interval of around six to seven hours, by using the Revolution number no. three racket press, we saw a decrease in the weight of around 0.07 grams. And uh, also, if we unpeel it, if we take away the plastic cover, I recommend you not to take away the plastic. Uh, cover of uh, tacky DHS hurricane rubbers if you don't use them, okay? There's no need. If you don't use them and you take them out, you have to definitely use a cover. So, uh, let's check again how we have uh, the measurement after six hours uh, using the Revolution number no. 3 racket press, okay? Since we glued our blade, okay? So, it's 194.83 grams uh, compared to 194.98 grams 
and basically is 0 0.6 grams less okay so the weight has dropped very 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 little 0 0.06 grams after using the racket press revolution number three for around six hours and as you can see uh, our blade is just perfect I mean look okay everything is perfect uh, if we want to measure fast Let's have a look now in number 16 blade, okay, what has happened after we had a problem yesterday when uh, we uh, glued the rubbers and uh, we had to re-glue it, uh, take it out of uh, our blade instantly and uh, re-glue it and uh, clean the blade and uh, brush the old uh, glue in the blade and had to wait a little bit to glue it again. So uh, I'm curious to see uh, how revolution number three uh, has worked, you know, for this uh, blade, okay? Uh, the weight was 198.29 grams yesterday of this blade. Uh, and uh, we are about to check what has happened after we unscrew our Revolution Racket Press uh, useful tool, okay? So, as you can see, again, uh, very good, actually perfect, uh, again, implementation okay everything is is top let's measure the weight is very important to measure the weight okay the important things the important thing that you have to remember is why you have to glue DHS hurricane rubbers as flat as possible so you don't have a problem here in the sides okay you see it's very important, but this don't peel off, okay? So, it's really good, as you can see here, after using the racket press, everything has, has become very smooth and nice, okay? So, because we had to re-glue it uh, after we did a mistake yesterday, remember, if you do a mistake while doing the gluing process, do not peel away the glue. If you peel away the glue, basically you destroy the rubber. You change the characteristics. Uh, if it's a pre-boosted rubber, I mean, uh, everything will become messier. Some people, they say, okay, take away the old glue, you know, th these things uh, totally lie. And uh, they are going to destroy your game because the next time you are going to play with normal rubbers, uh, they will have nothing to do with the rubbers that uh, you used. So this rubber has uh, these are Neo Hurricane free rubbers and uh, they do have two layers. They have, they have been factory pre-boosted as I said to you before. Uh, Neo Hurricane rubber factory pre-boosted both of the sides, here is the red one, here is the black one, this is the W968 blade. Factory Neo Hurricane pre-boosted rubbers uh, have been boosted from us and uh, uh, between the interval of boosting it uh, until you glue it, you stick it on the blade, we, were wait we waited about uh, two months to get them flat again. I, uh, I am uh, patient, I have no problem, okay? So we waited two months before we glue it uh, on our blade. And yesterday, uh, eight hours ago, basically, 
when we do the process, I did a mistake and uh, I had to take away instantly the rubbers from the blade. So basically what I did is I glued once more and uh, I cleaned the blade and uh, I did the process again. When something like this happens, uh, don't be afraid, but uh, be very fast uh, with your reactions and how you will do it. I mean, you are doing something uh, wrong in the process, okay, we are human beings, we are not uh, robot machines. Uh, what you do then, take away the rubber, okay, leave it on the table, put new glue on the rubbers, put new glue on the rubber, because since you, you took away the rubber from the blade, 70% of the rubber, of the glue rubber, has been on the blade, that's why then you clean the blade and you take away a lot of uh, glue. So, you take the glue, you take out the glue from the blade, you have your rubbers, you are waiting for them to, to get transparent, and then you have used new glue on the blade, the blade must be clean 100%. So, remember, a mistake happens, take away the rubbers, put new glue on the rubbers, okay? And clean the blade, put new glue on the blade and then stick the rubbers, okay? This is the way. Of course, it gets a little bit heavier, but uh, the basic result is that, okay? you don't throw your money and you can still use it top, okay? So, let's have a look now to see if this follows the rules, yes. As you can see, uh, the maximum thickness is 4 millimeters and this is perfect, exactly the same, like it should be. Let's measure the weight a little bit, okay, to see what has happened from 198.29 grams okay this has dropped from 198.29 grams to 198.08 grams okay and uh, this is total of uh, basically 0 0.21 grams okay so since last night we had uh, a bigger droppage uh, in the weight i would say compared to the other rubbers uh, okay so we end up in uh, 198.08 grams okay so uh, the, the droppage might goes uh, from uh, zero hours to six hours around to 0 0.21 grams okay the maximum i have seen as you can see this is perfect uh, let's have a look now with our uh, racket covering thickness measurement, the original one, the DHS one, okay. Let's have a look here. If it follows all the necessary rules, okay, here we have. Thank you very much for watching the video. In the future, if you are interested, of course, maybe we do some uh, more videos regarding the 
DHS measurement device, having the camera a little bit closer to me, trying to explain you exactly how to use this machine. But uh, the main uh, thing you can always do is, you know, using this thing, the ruler, okay, gives you a definition of uh, thickness and uh, make sure that you are using the right tools to implement your blade. Thank you very much for your time. See you in our next video. Thank you.